Okay, so I came up with a way to trim a video um, and to completely remove sections of the video. Um, I found that I needed to do this because if I put a non-trimmed video, for instance, let's look at this. If I were to take the start and put it somewhere and then select the end as well, what happens sometimes is that when I take that clip and then put it on a sequence, if I'm doing a transition, what it might do is it might use some of the frames that I've supposedly cut out. So what I want to do instead is select the entire video um, and then I put it on a, a sequence by itself. I've named the sequence Video Trimmer. And so put the, put the sequence on there and then find the place that I want to trim by playing the video. So here, so we're, we're right now I'm previewing the video that this is an introduction. Right there is where I want to actually start it, right, right when it starts to begin. So what, I, what I'll do is I'll find the location so, I'll, so there's these black frames. And then I want to split the video right there. And so now essentially what I've done is I split the video into two places. The stuff before the stuff I want. The stuff I want is on the right. It's over here. Um, this, though, is the beginning of the video, and I've selected it now by clicking on it. And I'm going to delete it. So I delete that part out. Let's go to the beginning. Start playing it. Perfect. Okay, so we'll play this to, um, to the point where I want it to end, the clip that I want to end. And then we'll do the same thing for the last half. The In fact, this, whole, this video actually, it ends almost right where I want to cut it. Because when I originally captured it, I only captured the section that I knew I was going to use. Okay, so I, I want to I want to clip out where where the where the video sort of switches into the. I think I missed it already. To be honest with you, here let's uh, back up just a little bit. And that's about right where I want it. Yeah. Man, it's 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 hard when the preview isn't really working properly. Right there is where I want it, I believe. So let me split this one again. I mean, we, we could always check it out here. So let me remove that section, um, and now let's just play the whole the whole clip. No, not quite. So I want let's get this stuff on the right. What I want to do is get rid of this. Oh, geez, I want yeah, what I want to do is select that and get rid of it. Let's check this out now. I think that's pretty much what I want. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so now, now that we have the whole clip exactly like we want it, let's check out the beginning. Okay, that looks good. And then the very end of it. Um, okay. Um, now what I do is because because I have the trimmed video on its own sequence, I export this as a video file, do it as an MP4, give it whatever the appropriate name is. In this case, um, 1986. Uh, I'll just call it Bears. Uh, let's 
Super Bowl shuffle. Um, let's do it. This shouldn't take very long to export this. Uh, we're already at about 11% now, so it, it goes pretty fast. I mean, this, this clip is only about 30 seconds long. And it's old. You can see that the, the, the quality of it is really poor. But it was made in 86, so... Uh, and that's about it. Um, this way, I can now import this clipped out section of the video and use it instead of the fuller, longer version um, that I've actually included in the project. Um, so that's it. Um, I think I'm going to have to do the, redo this and clean it up a little bit.